in this video, I would like to describe a nice way to follow the course of the three major nerves that we have supplying um, innervation to our upper extremity. So our median nerve, ulnar nerve, and radial nerve. And we're going to describe this and kind of get a sense for their courses by doing nerve palpation, feeling where they go, but also drawing the course of each nerve. So I'm going to use three different landmarks and trace the course of each nerve as they come from the nerve roots in our neck, C5 through T1, um, down through the brachial plexus and into our arm, forearm, and hand. So starting with the median nerve, uh, we can locate this um, at our upper arm, just medial to the brachial artery kind of below that biceps muscle belly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an orange pen and marker and just kind of draw a dot right there to start. And that's going to be my median nerve. At the elbow, I know my median nerve is going to be medial to the biceps tendon. So if I can find the biceps tendon and drop just medial to that, median nerve is going to be located there. And then I know at the wrist, it's going to cross the wrist at the carpal tunnel. So that's pretty easy. So that's my median nerve, and I'm just going to connect the dots to kind of visualize where that nerve runs. So right along there, and this, you can see that orange kind of travel, and that's going to be the line for my median nerve. I'm going to switch colors here. I'm going to move to blue, and we're going to describe the path of the ulnar nerve. So at the upper arm, the ulnar nerve is going to be a little bit medial to that median nerve. So I'm going to drop a little bit lower. And if you remember, the ulnar nerve comes off, it's the terminal branch off the medial cord of the brachial plexus. So it makes sense that it's a little bit more medial to the median nerve, which is going to have contributions from the lateral cord and the medial cord from the brachial plexus. Whoop, I smudged a little bit. So there is going to be the first place I'm going to draw my ulnar nerve. Second place I'm going to draw it is at the elbow. We know that ulnar nerve travels through the cubital tunnel, which is going to be between your medial, the condyle, and the olecranon, and you can kind of feel it in there, hence the nerve palpation. So I'm going to draw a dot right there. And then at the hand, at the wrist, the ulnar nerve is going to cross the uh, what's known as the Guyon's canal. So it's going to cross in between the pisiform and the hook of the hammock. So if I place my thumb and palpate the pisiform, I can kind of rock through and also palpate the hook of the hamate. The ulnar nerve is going to pass right in between those two points. So I'm going to connect those dots for my ulnar nerve and trace that course in blue. It's coming along the ulnar side of the wrist and into the hand. So that's going to be my ulnar nerve course. And finally, I'm going to draw and describe the course of the radial nerve. So the radial nerve is going to be one of the terminal branches off of the posterior cord, and we know it's going to travel in the spiral groove uh, through the humerus. So I'm going to find the radial nerve in the upper arm, kind of on this posterior lateral upper arm. At the elbow, we know it's going to travel kind of around that radial head and anterior to the lateral epicondyle. Um, so I'm going to draw it right in here as it passes between the two heads of the supinator, and then at the wrist, I'm going to describe where that radial nerve is as it passes through the anatomical snuff box. So I'm going to draw a mark right there at the wrist, and then I'm going to connect those dots for the radial nerve. And it's going to travel around the radial border and up. So that's going to be my radial nerve. So as you can see, I'm kind of marked up now. But I have a nice 3D representation from where those nerves are going to travel. And that's going to give me a better idea as I'm doing these clinical tests for these different nerves and trying to piece out and differentially diagnose what nerve is affected, where those nerves run, how I'm going to place tension or slack on those nerves. Uh, and I think that's a really useful way to get to know the anatomy of the different nerves. 